352-861-7484. That's 352-861-7484. Or come by the Ocala Airport anytime to pick up the perfect gift. And from all of us here at Ocala Aviation, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. What am I hearing there? Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Uh, five minutes after 8 o'clock. It is uh, December 28th. That's hard to believe. Isn't it? Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are you all? Pretty good, pretty good. It's the last Monday of the year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, was looking at, I was looking at the weather map, and there's really not much snow in the country right now, but I guess it's on its way, huh? It's all in Oklahoma, right? It's a, it's a, <laughs> the southeast, yeah. It's Texas, Oklahoma. Yeah, the southwest. Yeah, the uh, southwest. southwest yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But but it is also calling for it up in Wisconsin, Illinois. What is that? Iowa, Indiana. Looks like we're protected by this. This like this line that's protecting everybody in the southeast really of this. But they say the jet sure. stream could push that down, and if it does, then we would get cooler temperatures. So we'll see. Yeah. We've been pretty much protected. I'm fine with 80. We've been pretty much protected for a while. <laughs> so, how was your your Christmas? Everything all right? It was, uh, yeah, it was blessed. I, I love it. It's, uh, it was a fun day, and that's for sure. And uh, a lot of family, a lot of gifts. Yeah, it was perfect. Do you like the fact that it was on a, a Friday? Uh, you, you know, it, it's um, it's it's okay for the blood center. Um, it, it's you know we'd rather it fall on a saturday or sunday it, it doesn't impact collections as much but on a personal level you know it doesn't make much difference at all so <laughs> uh but professionally i'd rather it be on the weekend right, friday's saying. better yeah friday's not bad monday's not bad but uh so it, it, you know yeah yeah. And 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 your uh, family, your children, did they have? Uh, did they get everything they asked for? And then you know, what I mean, were they happy with? The Almost. Um, my son re- uh, requested something. He wanted a new graphics card in the computer, and of course, uh, it, it doesn't work in my computer. So now I have to get my computer upgraded to. Um, oh, okay. Uh, work, use the graphics card that he bought that he wanted. He didn't buy it, but um, yeah, that he wanted. So that's been fun. Yeah. So it's basically getting a whole new computer to fit around this graphics card. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Holy Innocence Day. Did you do you know what this is? The children, children. I do not know. Children no. must. Today, today is the day that's been celebrated since the fifth century. It says here, when uh, it, we memor- we commemorate, or the church commemorates, the massacre of male children at Bethlehem by King Herod's oh. order, according to the Book of Matthew. Okay. All right. Yeah. And you know the yeah. st- you know that story, right? Of course, sure. So, but the way it's observed is in like in Mexico, and I guess we don't do it here. Uh, it's the custom to give the youngest child in the household the power to rule the day. From what the family <laughs> eats to where you go to what you do, the youngest is in charge. <laughs> that, yeah, it, that's uh no, no. There, the, it is part. You know, that was if you like if you come from a large family and you're the and you're the baby brother. <laughs> This is your day, man. You <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. So it's the payback, buddy. So yeah. on, so on Friday, Robin and I were playing Christmas songs all morning long on the radio, mm-hmm. as you know. And so one of the songs that we stayed away from was Coventry Carol because it I couldn't remember yeah. the name earlier because it sings it's a song about the killing of the babies. Mm-hmm. And it's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful melody, but it's like, oh man, it's killing babies! I don't want that song on Christmas. <laughs> but it's part of the Christmas story. It's you heritage, know? yeah. It's the history. Yeah. Kind of weird. I mean, was I wrong to keep that out of it? I found it. Uh, no, I don't think there's anything wrong with you choosing what music. Do you know how it goes? Believe your audience is going to like. I don't know if I've ever heard it. No. Let me see I if I can find it. We have that in our repertoire, too, and then we decided not to do I it. know, because you're singing about yeah. children being right, killed. Right, right. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Here's the John Denver. Here it is. A little tiny child. See how sad it is? Mm-hmm. Hey, it's, it's, what's, it's what the song is about. It's about the killing of the baby. Sad story, but 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 uh, according to the thing we read this morning, the the church recognizes all those baby boys as saints. I guess we don't know their names, but yeah, no, uh, uh-uh. no, I, 
I guess if they're martyrs, I guess you could definitely call them martyrs. And yeah. They're for saints. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I have today some things we're looking back on the year, and I have a uh, 2015 year in review in sports. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stories. <laughs> seven stories. Okay. All right. So first, let's find out yeah. what do we need to know about the blood supply. Do we need to step up to the plate after a, a holiday yeah. weekend? Yeah, it was uh, not a good weekend. It uh, we we did not collect well. Um, didn't help that it rained in in much of our area. But we we just need people to get out there and get blood, and um, and we need to over collect for the next several weeks to make up to where we're at, so that we have a safe and adequate blood supply. Right now, again, we're less than a day supply. And uh, we, we just need, we need every type. Um, so if, if you're a blood donor, you haven't given in a while, now's a great time to give. Our blood center's open, and uh, our blood mobile will be out in Bellevue today. So just get out there and give the gift of life and donate blood. Let's see, we, we donated at Light of Ocala. Has it been long enough? Has it been eight weeks no. yet? No. no. No, that was no. in November. Okay. Right. right before Thanksgiving, yeah, in January, like November yeah. 21st. So this year, I'm going to try to stick to the last year. I did not. I, I said last year that in 2015, I was going to do it every eight weeks. I was going to be one of those blood donors that doesn't miss a beat. Mm-hmm. But I was, uh, but I did not do that. No, I no, should give myself a margin not, of error. We tried, sure. I think I should give myself a margin of error. What, what do you say, a week or something? Well, I if you think. want to donate five times, right? Yeah. You can you could take a week off basically in between each donation, or a week off in between the time you're. I see what you're saying. So you you go up to nine weeks and not and not more than that. Yeah, more than that, you're you're not going to make it. So, yeah. Uh, Let's go to the telephone. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. This is Dave Schlenker. Hi, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. Hey, Dave. Thank you. All right. So, uh, something just hit me as you were playing the John Denver song. Uh huh. John can, John Denver can sing about anything, and it still sounds, you know, happy. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not that song. I that understand song. what Dave's saying, he though. He can sing about severed toenails. He can <laughs> sing about anything, and it still <laughs> makes me <laughs> warm and toast. Oh, yeah. Remember when he sang about filling up my cesspool? Oh, wait, that wasn't the words. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I would so buy that album. <laughs> 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 all right, that's all. I just want to say hi and... Uh, now that John Denver has sung about the death of children, I'm on my way to work. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, we waited till today. We didn't play it on Christmas yes. Day. <laughs> we didn't play the whole thing. That's sad, and Robin. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's a warm and toasty classic. <laughs> warm and toasty classic. Thank you, Dave. Bye, guys. Oh, Dave's such a great guy. He Robin, had a Robin has sounds like an article written in there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the Times Square cam right now. They're setting up the stage for the New Year's event. Oh, oh. cool! Yeah. I bet they are getting ready. So, all right. So, I want to. I want to uh, see if I can do it this year. See if I can donate blood every time I'm due. Mm-hmm. So Beautiful. We, so we got to figure out when it, I'll be. Well, we're on the same page, you and I, because yeah. we give it at the same time. So we're around January twentieth. Is that what it is? I think it was light okay. up Ocala, you know, and that was like around the twenty first or something okay. like that. All so right. we'll get the date. Be sure to thank the people at Penn Flooring and at Palm Garden for sponsoring Galen's important announcement that blood is necessary and that you and I are the only reason there's a blood supply is because we step up to the plate and donate blood. Penn Flooring has some beautiful flooring. You might want to have a New Year's resolution to remodel your home. Start with the floor and work your way up. Get some new carpeting, some new wood flooring, some tile, linoleum. They've got a wonderful showroom so you can see the... uh, Samples they have at 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the McKay-Williams Bridge, just a block or two from Pine. Mm -hmm. And then also make sure you thank the folks over at Palm Garden because they have a, well, because they sponsored the segment. And uh, just so you know, they have a beautiful facility. They do. It is If you ever need long-term skilled nursing care, they've they've got everything you need over there. And respite care. And respite care. So there you go. In case you need that. All right. Are you ready for the year in sports, 2015? Yeah. Let's do it. I think it's in order, not necessarily in importance. The Patriots win the Super Bowl. 2015. Yep. The New, New England Patriots won. a good day. Their fourth Super yep, Bowl. My son was very, very happy. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Your son is a Patriots fan. Yeah, oh. he was very happy. Oh, there's Ooh. that music. Okay. All right. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six more. Well, that one didn't take long to, right. to read. 
not much to it. I mean, I think we've talked about it all year. Not much to say about it, huh? <laughs> yeah, deflate gate, right? <laughs> oh, that part of the story, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll take a little break and be right back with Galen Unold after the break. Brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For today, Monday, sunshine mixing with clouds. Quite warm and humid. High 82 to 86. Partly cloudy and warm Monday night. Lows 68 to 72. Tuesday will be partly sunny. Warm and humid. High 83 to 87. And Wednesday, clouds and some sunshine. And quite warm. High 82 to 86. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Ouch. Does pain have you glued to the couch? Yes, unfortunately it's true that every year we must get older, but that doesn't mean we have to deal with pain in our back, knees, or shoulder. If your muscles and joints are sore, don't worry anymore. Come get acupuncture from me and you'll be pain-free. Acupuncture starts as low as $35 at a Better You Healthcare. Call me, Dr. Erica Olstein, at 615-5566. Stop your pain from driving you insane. I'm Jennifer, the Executive Director of Palm Garden, and I would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. I'm Mary Sue, the Director of Clinical Services, and my staff and I will be ensuring that all the needs of our guests and residents are met. I'm Janet, the Director of Guest Services, and I will be fluffing pillows for our new guests staying with us over the holidays. And I'm Jan Marino, also from Palm Garden, and I hope each of you have a blessed Christmas as we celebrate the Savior's birth. Merry Christmas from Palm Garden! Looking to put your money to work? Florida Credit Union has three CD specials, 12 months for 1.05% APY, 24 months for 1.50% APY, 36 months for 1.75% APY each with a $10,000 minimum. Federally insured by the NCUA, APY equals annual percentage yield. These rates effective through December 31st, subject to change at any time. Visit one of Florida Credit Union's convenient locations today or visit their website at flcu.org. You've got a garden and we've got a show for you called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. All right, 17 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Monday morning, the 28th day of December. We're just about done with 2015. I always remember, again. I, I know we don't write many checks anymore, but whenever I have to write a date on something at the beginning of the new year, and of course checks used to be the, the one place I would make that mistake, but I usually got it right the first few days, and it was like the week later that I started putting the old year. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's what happens to me when we change months. I can never remember what month it is. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, let's see. We'll talk about the uh, year in sports of 2015, whatever. Uh, let's see. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> well, I said it backwards. <laughs> I said the 2000, uh, whatever. I just said it backwards. Whatever. So Tom Brady and uh, and uh, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodall squared off in the courtrooms all summer long after Brady was suspended for four games over the, s the inflate gate scandal or deflate gate, deflate whatever they gate. called it. Yeah. His suspension was overturned by a judge, so they're done with that now, right? We're done with yeah, it. Yeah, you know, there's still there's still uh, that, that court proceeding is still underway. I mean, the NFL appealed that decision, and uh, they are they are still looking. I guess in March they're going to rehear the case at the Supreme Court. My goodness! So, wow. Yeah, I mean, how much millions of dollars has been spent on this? So uh, over a couple of footballs, uh, that's crazy. So are the Patriots in contention for a Super Bowl slot this year? Yeah. yeah oh, they are. Yeah, they lost yesterday, but, uh, yeah, they they won their division, and they'll have a first-round bye, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're playing well. Oh, okay. So uh, I, I, I want to get they to the get sports. all the injuries. I'm, lo I'm looking at the, the, the Times Square webcam. They're setting mm -hmm. up for the New Year's thing, uh -huh. and, and I see two porta potties I'm thinking, they're going to need more than that. Oh, Yeah. Those are probably just for the workers today. It's <laughs> just for today, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because if you're in the middle of the crowd, you're not getting through the crowd. Do you know, what I, do you know what I wonder? Okay, I'm, I'm going to share something with you. That it's, 
it's it's a little. I'm a little reluctant to do this, but just keep in mind I was like 14 and 15. But I used to go to Times Square when the peep shows were all there. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something. That was a temptation, and and I and I gave in to that temptation. Uh-huh. Well, you're a fellow. And, and that McDonald's that's in Times Square used to be a peep show. Okay, just just letting you know. Okay. So what I'm and and there was a lot of them there at that time. There was a lot of peep shows in Times Square, and then Giuliani, as you know, cleaned up the whole act. But my question is this. <laughs> when New Year's Eve happened on in Times Square in the years of the peep show, mm-hmm. and somebody had to use the restroom, did they go into the peep show? Do you have a restroom? Did they? I mean, like right now, you would go into McDonald's. I got to use your bathroom. Okay. Yeah. Right? Did they use the the peep show bathrooms? Yeah, that's a good question. Galen, what do you think? The world may never know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody's going to really admit it. I mean, I, I don't know. Well, you see bums peeing in the alley, so, you know, I mean, people probably just pee no in alleys. the alleys. No, there's no alleys in Times Square. It, it, no, there are, not, the, there are not any alleys. Well, they, they pee against the building. My daughter saw one oh, peeing know. against the building right there. <laughs> that they do, yeah. Yeah, when yeah. she was I'm just there. saying, they're, they're too tight. There's nothing. Please don't like that. You can't squeeze between those buildings. <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, if you think about it, like, right now, I'm looking at the picture. It's, I mean, it's all different than when I was a kid. McDonald's is there. The Disney store is there. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Toys R Us is there in place. There's so much in Times Square that makes it wholesome now. So now you wouldn't feel funny walking into a business and saying, yeah, Mm -hmm. can I use your bathroom? You got a bathroom? You got a bathroom? Yeah. (laughs) Back then, what did they do? Well, maybe they close their bathrooms during, you know, maybe they they close the bathrooms to the public unless you're going to buy things. They do that here. They put signs up there. There's a million people within those three, four blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know how you could close anything. All right, the next sports story from 2015. The Boston Bruins failed to make the playoffs in 2015. They did, yeah. I'm surprised that's on your list. Is this like all New England sports? I don't know. Okay. I, I didn't Is think that, it, uh, I wouldn't think that would be in the top story. They were never in it. Oh, you know what? I think, I think you're right. I think maybe I got this from a New England uh, okay. news place. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fine. Oh no, no. It says American Pharaoh takes triple crown. Horse American Pharaoh became the triple, the first triple crown I, I winner. That was a big story. That was a that was a much bigger story than than uh, people think. So, I mean, we understand it in this area, but uh, I think uh, I think it's really starting to it'll sink in in the next few years. Just how great of a horse American Pharaoh was. So now that it's retired officially, do you think we'll ever have an American Pharaoh? <laughs> uh, no. I do not. Do you think we'll have a President Trump? Yes, I do. Uh, I hope not. Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, do you, we need a leader. Do you think, do you, Galen, do you think, as a, as a serviceman, as a Navy man, do you think yeah. that presidents who have not served in the military look awkward when they salute? Some do, but I- yes. if you, if there's a right way to do a salute. There's a wrong way to do a salute. What, yeah. what I always look for is when the uh, when when they disrespect the salute. Um, that that's one thing that always bothers me. They and, should and I, learn. There's a well. It, it's not rocket science. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, it can literally take you less than two minutes to figure out how to salute the right way. Yeah, and but when to salute. What I mean by that is when you're when you're cavalier about it. Um, when, when it's almost like uh, you're you're shooing somebody away instead of actually uh, giving a proper salute, there, there's that that to me is such a sign of disrespect. So, uh, and and again, when when you have a when when you're in the military and you are that close to the president, you have done a lot of things right in your military career. That is that is some significant yeah, yeah. duty. Well, I, I, you know, they're not pulling off anybody out of the ranks and saying, okay, you're going to stand right next to Air Force One today when the president walks off. No, that, that is a big deal. And, and they, they, they're they very rarely do you ever really notice them. You just see the president you know, salute them. And when the, and the president doesn't do it right, it, it, it's a slap in our face. Right, so. right. Well, the reason I was asking, I was, I was showing Robin something yesterday. It's, it's a few years old, but the Kennedy Center's honors uh, was honoring Billy Joel. And, and and so in in honoring the when they honor a songwriter or a, or a, a, song, a songwriter in his case, yeah. um, they have other performers perform the song. So they did the song "Good Night Saigon." I don't, do you know that song "Good Night Saigon" by chance? 
No, Can't I don't. No, no. okay. Well, it's a, it's a it's a, it's a song about the, the the contributions of the soldiers in the Vietnam War. It's not mm-hmm. really a political song at all. It's just a song about what they were like. They didn't have cameras to take pictures of the landscapes. They they had guns instead. Instead, they had uh, their doors tapes that they would you know they were playing the doors that were pretty popular group back then. Yeah. So it, it's just a story about what they were going through and what what life was like and how dark it was at night, et cetera, et cetera. And so anyway, they're they're performing this with Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks was performing the song, mm-hmm. and then at one point they get all these Vietnam vets to come out and sing the chorus, and, and it was really a, a chilling moment. Yeah. And oh. so, and the and the president is there, of course. Obama. He's, yeah, President Obama is there, and he's up in the in the balcony next to Billy Joel. And all of the soldiers salute. They salute their commander in chief. Mm-hmm. And the president saluted them back, so I'm not taking it away from him. But it looked like an awkward salute to me. Like he didn't know how to do it. It looked awkward to me. Yeah, and, it, I, it and I thought, and I wasn't, I'm not being critical. I'm just saying, if you're going to be there and you didn't ever learn how to do it, you should learn how to do it. Right. If you're president, you should learn how to do it before you take the office. And right now, I don't think there's any candidate that w- that is a veteran, right? Am I wrong? No. About that? no. Uh, no, I mean, three of the last four presidents haven't had any military service. So Yeah, so uh, whoever gets I mean, in... Count, I guess we count the National Guard. Whoever so. gets in has to, I mean, should really learn. I'm not, yeah. I'm not picking on them. Be- I, I, I'm, I'm sure they do because, it, it, again, if you were to... I haven't seen a really bad one. You'll see one very, very rarely. Uh, so, And when you see one, it almost blows up social media now, so... Well, I think Billy Joel uh, gave a better salute than the president yeah, did. Yeah, he did. Huh. He did. He and sure did. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, when civilians salute sometimes, I, I go, okay, all right. He, he, I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes it bothers me. The president's not a civilian. He's a commander-in-chief. Right. And, you know, when, when uh, some civilians, it's like, okay, uh, what are you saluting for? All right, we, we drifted there. Let's get some more sports. Here. Let's see. Uh, okay. <laughs> David Ortiz, did Red Sox fans something to smile about as he joined the 500 club by getting his 500th home run? That was this year. Yeah, and then he announced his retirement, uh, that this is going to be his last season. So uh, it's going to be a swan song. And I hope to see a lot of David Ortiz hitting more home runs this year. And uh, U.S. women win the World Cup. The U.S. women's national team were champions in soccer, defeating Japan to win the 2015 World Cup. Remember that? Yes. Sure, it's about time. Uh, this, I mean, uh, that, that sounds horrible to say, but this group of girls hadn't done it before, and they had won the Olympics but uh, failed to win the World Cup the last three year, uh, last two times. So it's every four years. So. It's good to see the, the women. Is there a story, and is there a story you, you think would be on a list like this? I'm, I'm guessing you're right. You're probably right. I probably got this from a New England news outlet. I only counted six. I guess I Yeah, I mean, the one. World Cup, the U.S. Women's World Cup was a big deal. So, yeah, that would be on any list, and so would American Pharaoh. Celtics. Yeah. That's the one I missed. Oh, that's the one. Celtics yeah. work towards victory. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's purely a Bostonian thing. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, they, they Did they win? Like basketball. No, they didn't win much of anything. They just oh. didn't come in last place, and I think that was a big deal. Have you seen Star Wars they had yet? A new coach, and I have. <laughs> when did, did you like it? When did you see it? It's great. This <laughs> week I saw it on Christmas Day. Oh, really? Oh, nice. It was packed. Did you but, see uh, the uh, the IMAX one? Uh, I saw the one in 3D. We didn't see the IMAX 3D. Oh, 3D. Uh, did you have to wear glasses? But yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh, okay. Wow, that's so And I know so Dano cool. went to the IMAX dome. Right. Which is a <laughs> right, 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 right. Experience. He, you know, it's uh, it's interesting. He um, he, he said he, he wants to see it again in a regular theater because he feels like there are pieces he missed. I, if you've never laid down and watched it, the, the whole screen, you can't see the whole screen from any one part. Oh. So, yeah, it's, huh. it's pretty weird. It's pretty it, it But you're I've looking been up. A couple of times. Looking up. You're I, I, laying down. I, I, I saw a movie there. I thought I was going to get sick. So, oh. <laughs> the way it is, yeah. Well, my daughter saw it but twice the, this weekend, so she loves it. Well, and they, you know, the way they, uh, the way they, they, they took the film, they didn't do it anything other than the actual film and brought it to Mosey, and then they brought it in sections, and then they brought the soundtrack last, and... Oh, uh, there was some serious secrecy down there at Mosey because that's 
the original film. They only had like one of five locations in the country that did it that way. Wow. Oh, wow. How cool yeah, is that? Cool. All right. Cool. Well, Galen. Great movie, though. Great movie. If you like Star Wars, it's definitely worth going to. Yeah. Ten seconds. Absolutely. Where's the Budmobile? Uh, today we're at the Walgreens in Bellevue today. Yeah, today. Nice. Well, Walgreens. Right next door Tony to Pot. the post office in Bellevue. All right. Well, yeah. enjoy today, and we'll we'll speak to you tomorrow. All right. Thank you guys for everything. Thank Bye you, Galen. Bye. Disaster declarations for four Texas counties from Governor Greg Abbott. At least 11 people dead, dozens injured after strong tornadoes hit the Dallas area. Another problem, trapped travelers. With the weather, they're they're all right, you know. But, you know, a lot of them want to go home. You know, a lot of them didn't get to go home for Christmas because a lot of the weather kept them from going home for Christmas. Clark Andy Frost at a truck stop at Amarillo. After those twisters, snow, a lot of it, blizzard-like conditions for parts of Texas and New Mexico. I-10 and I-25 from El Paso. All the way to Albuquerque was closed at, at a certain point. Resident Joe Fajardo in Las Cruces, New Mexico. New Mexicans don't know how to drive in the snow. Days of tumultuous weather leading to at least 43 deaths. Blizzard conditions now in Oklahoma and an ice storm warning prompting Governor Mary Fallon there to declare a state of emergency. Fox News. We report. You decide. every school bus and classroom. I go to school with your children. We say the Pledge of Allegiance together. You see me around the neighborhood and you tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. Well, I'm one out of every five children in America and I'm struggling with hunger. This problem is closer than you think. My teacher tells me we can grow up to be whatever we want. I want to grow up to be someone who doesn't go to bed hungry. There's enough food in this country to feed everybody. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me, quietly struggling with hunger. Together, we are Feeding America. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Merry Christmas. R.L. here at Dairy Queen Silver Springs. I'm here to tell you it's time for a quarter pound chili dog straight off a real grill. It's a foot long. You can try it with cheese, mustard, or onion, or fresh made slaw. Miss Sandra makes the best slaw around. They even have sauerkraut if you fancy. But my favorite is a grilled dog with chili and slaw. Wow, we doggies. So get along to Dairy Queen Silver Springs, but don't forget their Oreo Peppermint Blizzard of the Month. Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where they always treat you like kings and queens. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, this is Becky at Hello Gorgeous Salon. Let's get rid of those sun damage ends and faded out color and get into something rich and vibrant. It's time to get that new look started. So call today and set up your appointment at Hello Gorgeous Salon, 351-5358. Hello Gorgeous is a certified Brazilian blowout salon. We can tame those locks, leaving your hair healthy and shiny with a Brazilian smoothing treatment. And whether you're going on a job interview or out on a date, your hands do a lot of talking. Manicures are a must. Hello Gorgeous is a full service salon, so let us help you make a great first impression. Call us today to set your appointment at Hello Gorgeous. Our number is 352-351-5358. Again, that's 352-351-5358. Hello Gorgeous is conveniently located in the heart of downtown Ocala, right next to the historic Marion Theater. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. Hello Gorgeous. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. So how can watching a scary film make you happier? When the scary, heart-pounding moments end, we get a surge of feel-good chemicals, which can leave us feeling happy long after the movie is over. The study finds we can save 40 cents per gallon on average buying milk at the drugstore. 
The first step in breaking a hair pulling habit is to simply be aware of it because most nervous habits are done unconsciously. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep and neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA The Source. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala!